So I thought I'd show you what logic looks like. This is symbolic logic. These are valid argument forms, and this is what we philosophy students use in order to formulate our ideas. So the modus ponens, for example, has a, an abbreviation of MP, and then it has its symbol and form. So if I go over here, I will see that we have logical problems. And so this is what we do to practice. And what I'll tell you is that and that is is if you're struggling with uh, reading comprehension or you can't find someone's argument or you want to test someone's statement out to see if it's logically consistent, then symbolic logic is a very cool way to get started on that journey. I truly enjoy logic. Uh, logic is one of the foundations of computers. Logic is losing some relevance in uh, the media. They do not practice any type of logic at all, and they make things up out of thin air, and they often say a lot of different fallacies, and logic can help you to figure out what is being truthful and what's not, and how you can find someone's argument within their argument, especially if their argument is very vague. Um, I annotate a lot, and symbolic logic is a perfect way to do that. Um, I would highly recommend picking up a logic book. There's a lot of beginner levels if you already are in a college. There's probably a logic class. It is difficult, but once you get the hang of it, you'll truly enjoy it. And I highly recommend it. So this is what actual logic looks like. So when you have people telling you things like, Oh, uh, that's logical. That's this, that's that. That's what we call natural language. But this, like, you know, like, example exercises like this, that would be real logic. And it's very cool. It's very good for your brain. So I will try to um, do some examples for you um, one day about how we work out logic. But see, this is a really cool one here. This is what logic is. This is what le helped birth coding in computers. And a lot of people who talk a lot of smack about philosophy students have no idea the things that we deal with. They simply think it's just some hippie in a tie-dye shirt on a skateboard in a park who um, likes to drink vodka and kick back and talk about aliens. And I love talking about aliens, but uh, uh, this is what we do. This is what uh, philosophers do besides looking at just the arguments of people we analyze metaphysics, epistemology, we do a lot of different things. On Logicians are very interesting people, and there's a lot you can learn from them. And I'd say if you ever want to dig into, you know, uh, different fields, I'd say logic is something that you can pick up. And you will notice a difference in the way you read and comprehend things around you. I personally believe that the logical examples uh, will help you f have more cognition in your brain once you really learn this out. And eventually it'll become secondhand nature. So this is what logic actually is. So yeah. All right, family. Have a great day.